Hi guys, Just For Sweets here. So today we have another appetizer uh, that you can serve during the holidays or during a party or anything like that. Um, it's really simple and I'm gonna show you two different ways you can do it. Um, I have my oil heating up in my cast iron skillet on the stove top and then I also have my oven set on 400 degrees. So we're gonna show you a baked version and a fried version. That way you can do it a little bit on the healthier side or you can do it a little bit on the the fun side. Um, so what all you need is one pack of pancetta and I just got this at a uh, local, I think I got it at Walmart and uh, but you can get it at specialty stores and stuff like that. I have a giant enormous bag of French green beans that are raw that I got at Costco and uh, you don't have to get a bag this big but I have a big family so these are actually for a meal too. And we're going to go ahead and start. And then you just need a few seasonings. I have some salt, some pepper, and some smoked paprika, and that is it. So I'm going to show you the fried version first, and then um, I will show you the baked version. So let's go ahead and get started. I have just a plate here with some paper towels. And we're going to start with our pancetta. Now when you take it apart, don't get discouraged because it like starts to fall apart like this because it looks like it's a perfect little circle and then you take it out and it's all apart but that's okay you're just going to kind of lay it out to where you kind of can bind it together so i'll show you that see and i just laid it out looks just like bacon it's an italian bacon and we are going to take three green beans and bundle them together and we're just going to wrap these green beans with the pancetta and just kind of keep it together as well as you can and wrap those just like that and you got you have a little their little green bean bundles now you could also replace uh, the green beans if you're not a green bean person with asparagus and do the same thing bundle depending on how large the stalks of asparagus are you can bundle uh, two or three of those together as well. Um, if they're skinny stalks like this, I'd do three. If they're larger, you could even do one or two. So it just depends, you know, use your best judgment. Okay, so we're gonna wrap these little green beans just like that. Okay, so those are the little bundles. Now this is the same thing you would do whether you were going to bake them or fry them. Um, if you're going to bake them, you would stick them on a cookie sheet or a pan right in the oven. And if you're going to bake them, you pre-season them. So um, I'll show you that in a minute. But I have my oil already on medium-high heat for about five minutes now. And we are going to go ahead and drop these right in. And these we are not going to pre-season. Stick them right in the grease. We're going to let those cook. Make sure you have your tongs ready. And I'm going to flip this paper towel over. Um, actually, I'm just going to take that one off and put the fresh one right there. Turn this down just a tad bit. Go over here. Make sure you can see these drying away. Just check them and turn them over. Let them just go about a minute. Flip them over. And these are just, I've, I've had um, baked uh, prosciutto and uh, asparagus at a party as an appetizer before, and it was so divine. And uh, I had these green beans and I brought some pancetta, and I thought, you know, we could use kind of the same concept and have a lot of fun with this. And these are just ways to make different appetizers rather than your regular chips and salsa or deviled eggs or whatever you know you can get a little bit on the fancier side so i did not pre-blanch these uh, green beans i'm cooking them raw now if you prefer you can pre-blanch them a little bit and you know boil them in some hot water for a minute and then throw them in an ice bath so they stop cooking and then they get a little bit more cooked inside um, I'm deep frying them so you get a little bit of crispiness, so you get a texture with them, and you know that 
the texture makes it kind of nice too. It's just something a little bit different. I can't believe the holidays are already here, or almost here. I shouldn't say they're here, but that's how fast it goes. <laughs> I feel like it was just summer and I was camping and showing you guys our videos from the lake. And Howie's over here sniffing around on the floor looking for any extra bit of anything that falls. My little Roxy Dachshund, she's just sitting over here waiting patiently. Watching every move I make. <laughs> okay, so we're going to flip these around. We don't want to overdo it too much. But we do want them to be have a fried texture. Okay, so we're going to take those out. Those went exactly three minutes, so I would say about a minute and a half on each side. Just kind of flip them over. Check this one. They're almost done. I'd say exactly three minutes because we're just now hitting the three minute mark. So go ahead. There it is. Okay, go ahead and pull those out. So we did a minute and a half on each side. Again, this is something that you can get ready the night before and have these all pre-bundled so that the day of your party you can just fry them up and you know obviously i have a cast iron skillet you can put at least 10 in there and do 10 at a time so it would take you no time at all uh, go ahead and get that covered up there all right now we're gonna go back to our little plate over here since we're done frying and uh, show you these little bundles now while these are really nice and hot and you've got them on the paper towel I want you to go ahead and season them so you're gonna put a little bit of sea salt and you can use um, sea salt kosher salt uh, smoked garlic salt would be really good on these regular garlic salt okay I'm gonna add a little dash of smoked paprika now this gives it a nice color plus a nice smoky flavor and of course you have to have pepper with everything so let's put a little bit of pepper. We're going to sprinkle a little bit of pepper on these. Okay, and there we have our crispy little bundles of joy. Okay, and then all you would do with these is take them off of there and set them on a beautiful serving platter. And you would have little green bean bundles. Again, you'd put like a dipping sauce with these or you, you know, people can eat them plain or with a dipping sauce. They've got a nice crunchy texture, but they're still soft. You've got the pancetta that's nice and crunchy, and they just have a nice flavor. So um, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to do the bundles for uh, the oven. You'll have your cookie sheet ready and your oven set on 400 degrees. So we're going to take this pancetta and see that one came out nice and circular. And we're going to do our three little green beans. And we're going to roll those up, just like we did the other ones. And you've got your nice, oh, I'm not even in the camera. You've got your nice little bundle right there. Little bundles of joy. Little bundles of deliciousness is what I say. And this is going to be the healthy alternative to our green bean bundles. Go ahead and roll those up. There we go. Got another one. Timer off before it starts going. All right, and I'm going to do one more. So you can see this. Pancetta is just a nice, thin, lean cut Italian bacon. This one did not come out so circular, so we'll go ahead and do the three green beans in this one. Roll it right up. Okay, now when you bake it, I want you to pre-season these before you bake it so that the, the flavors bake right in. Whereas deep frying, they would, they would fry in, but they kind of fry off, so I like to do those afterwards, plus you've got the grease that'll hold on all those seasonings. Okay, do our little bit of sea salt here. And you do not have to grease the cookie sheet because the pancetta has grease, but if you would like to, you can put a little bit of spray grease on there to ensure that it's not going to stick. Okay, 
And then I have my bundles already in the oven here. And I'm gonna show you these all baked. So here they are baked. I just took them out of the oven. Put these on the dish. They're sizzling. Okay, so this is what you do. See, you can see the grease from where I baked it. So you just go ahead and stick these right on. They didn't stick at all. Put these on the cookie sheet, just like that. And you're gonna stick those in that preheated oven on 400 degrees for 15 minutes is exactly what I baked these for. Now, if you prefer to go a little bit longer to get that pancetta a little bit more crisp, go right ahead. Or if you like it a little less crisp, put it in a few less minutes. But um, I wanted to make sure that those green beans got a little bit of baked flavor to them. Again, they're gonna have a nice, soft texture. So I'm gonna show you these. We have, these are the two baked green bean bundles, and then here's our two fried green bean bundles. So you, you pick your poison right there, and you would go ahead and put those on a serving dish or like little appetizer plates. Let's clean that off. And put out your little cup. Put out your cups of sauces. These would be really good dipped in uh, ranch or you could dip them in, uh, an, again, like a um, sweet chili sauce, or uh, even like a habanero mango jelly, like uh, Linda's Pantry makes. One of those spicy uh, jellies would be really, really good with this as well. Or just eat them plain. I'm gonna go ahead and taste them. Those are the hotter ones, I'll try these first. <laughs> wow, yummy. You can, you can hear the texture because I'm right next to the camera. They have a nice flavor, not too salty. You taste that smoked smoke, uh, paprika on there. And that pancetta just gives it perfect flavor. All right, so now I'm going to try the baked one. Really good. A little bit more tender but still all the same seasonings and flavors. Great, great appetizer. Get a dip in there and it's gonna be even better. And the baked ones actually taste pretty close to the way the fried ones taste. So if you wanna be the healthier option, go ahead and make those baked ones over the fried ones because the difference is not much, it's not much of a difference really, except for one traps more oil than the other. So I almost would bake mine instead of frying them I kind of like the flavor and the texture and everything a little bit better. So again, you can wrap your bundles with a piece of pancetta, three green beans, put them in some hot grease, fry them for three minutes, a minute and a half on each side, or wrap them and then season them after you pull them out, or wrap them and put them in a 400 degree oven for 15 minutes and season them before you put them in with some sea salt, some smoked pap paprika and some pepper and bake those and pull them out and have a lovely, yummy, delicious appetizer for your holiday meal or, you know, just to have guests over or potluck or whatever you'd like it to be. So anyway, another fun appetizer and uh, I hope you had fun. I had fun and if you like this video, please hit the like button. That means a lot to me to see that people enjoy what I do and that's the reason we ask you to hit the like button. Um, until next time, we'll have some more appetizers coming and desserts, of course, and even some craft ideas are coming up. Um, I hope you have a great day, and until next time, God bless.